Dark Tales from California. Zodiac Killer, a cipher of terror, haunts California. Now, there are few unsolved mysteries in history that have captured the public's imagination as intensely as the case of the Zodiac Killer. This shadowy figure struck fear into the hearts of Northern California residents during the tumultuous late 1960s and early 1970s. He left behind a trail of blood and cryptic messages, earning him a notorious reputation as a symbol of the dark underbelly of the counterculture era. Decades later, his true identity and motives continue to elude investigators, adding to the allure and terror surrounding this infamous killer. The mere mention of his name still sends chills down the spines of those who remember his violent rampage. The Zodiac's reign of terror officially began on a cold, dark December night in 1968. The peaceful town of Benicia, California, was forever scarred by the brutal demise of high school students David Faraday and Betty Lou Jensen. As they sat parked on a secluded road, enjoying each other's company, they were suddenly and violently attacked at close range. It was a tragic and senseless act that shook the community to its core. But as the days turned into months, it became clear that this was no isolated incident. The killer's chilling calling card, a cryptic letter sent to the San Francisco Chronicle, arrived with a menacing message claiming responsibility for the crime and threatening even more violence to come. And so began a terrifying game of cat and mouse between law enforcement and an elusive psychopath who reveled in taunting his pursuers and instilling fear in the public. The streets were quiet, but the fear was palpable, as everyone waited for the next move from the infamous Zodiac Killer. Over the next two years, the Zodiac would strike again and again, his evil actions leaving a trail of terror across Northern California. Hunting for vulnerable couples in remote and secluded locations, he would unleash his brutal attacks without mercy. His victims, chosen seemingly at random, were subjected to unspeakable horrors shot, stabbed, and left for dead. The killer's twisted sense of power only grew as he continued to elude capture, taunting authorities with chilling letters to newspapers. In these letters, he boasted of his crimes and included mementos from his victims, pieces of their clothing as proof of his twisted deeds. The fear and panic spread like wildfire throughout the community, as no one knew when or where the Zodiac would strike next. Amidst all the fear and panic, the Zodiac Killer's love for intricate ciphers only added to the terror. His cryptic messages, filled with hidden meanings and taunting hints at his identity and future plans, were a constant source of dread for the public. Though some of these codes were eventually cracked, revealing chilling messages and violent threats, others still remain unsolved to this day, their secrets lingering just out of reach, like an elusive puzzle waiting to be solved. Despite a massive manhunt, the investigation into the elusive and enigmatic Zodiac Killer's identity proved frustratingly fruitless. Like a shadow in the night, he slipped away from every lead and evaded capture with ease. Numerous suspects were investigated, their lives torn apart under the microscope of suspicion, but no concrete evidence ever emerged to definitively point to the killer's true identity. And, as time passed, the case went colder and colder until it was nothing but a distant memory. The killer, it seemed, had vanished into thin air as quickly as he had appeared, leaving behind a haunting legacy of fear, unanswered questions, and a chilling reminder that sometimes even the most notorious criminals can slip through the cracks and remain forever shrouded in mystery. The infamous Zodiac Killer has left an indelible mark on popular culture, his name whispered in fearful tones and his deeds immortalized in countless books, documentaries, and feature films. This elusive figure, responsible for a string of unsolved murders, continues to captivate the public's imagination. Despite the passage of time and the tireless efforts of amateur and professional sleuths alike, the true identity and motives of the Zodiac Killer remain shrouded in mystery, leaving behind a haunting legacy of terror and unanswered questions. The Whaley House, where history and hauntings collide. 
Nestled in the historic streets of Old Town, San Diego, California, stands a great brick mansion with a haunting past, the infamous Whaley House. Constructed in 1857 by Thomas Whaley, a wealthy entrepreneur and influential political figure, the house has borne witness to a multitude of tragedy and misfortune, solidifying its reputation as one of the most haunted locations in all of America. The eerie whispers of its history still linger within its walls, beckoning curious visitors to step inside and discover the secrets it holds. Before the Whaley family even moved in, the land on which the house stands was shrouded in dark history. It had once been a place of public execution, with the gallows looming ominously over the property. The spirits of those who met their end at the end of a rope are said to still linger within the walls of the house. Perhaps the most well-known and feared is that of Yankee Jim Robinson, a notorious thief who met his fate at this very spot in 1852. Visitors and staff alike have reported ghostly sightings of Robinson's figure haunting the halls, his eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Some even claim to have felt his icy grip on their arms or shoulders, as if he were trying to drag them into the afterlife with him. It's no wonder that many believe this house to be one of the most haunted in all of America. As the Whaley family settled into their new home, tragedy struck soon after. The air hung heavy with grief as they mourned the loss of their infant son, Thomas Whaley Jr., who succumbed to scarlet fever in 1858. His absence was palpable and his ghostly presence is said to linger within the walls of the house. Visitors have reported eerie occurrences such as the frank cry of a baby, toys inexplicably moving on their own, and the sensation of a spectacle embrace tugging at their clothing. The remnants of a once vibrant and loving life now imbued with sorrow and longing for what could have been. The Whaley family's joys were often overshadowed by heartache and tragedy, as several of their children passed away before their time. The once lively house now carried a somber weight, its halls echoing with the sounds of sorrow and grief. The walls seemed to bear witness to the family's pain, as if they absorbed the anguish and despair of those who lived within. The playful laughter of children was replaced by heavy sighs and sobs in every corner of the home. Today, the Whaley House stands tall and proud as a museum, welcoming visitors from all corners of the globe. The historic landmark is open for tours and paranormal investigations, with people eager to soak up its eerie energy and perhaps catch a glimpse of its ghostly residence. As you walk through the creaky doors and into the dimly lit rooms, you can literally feel the weight of history hanging in the air. Every step you take on the original wooden floors echoes through the halls, as if the past is still alive within this home. From the furnishings to the wallpaper, every detail has been perfectly preserved, transporting you back in time. Here, you can sense the spirits that linger, waiting to tell their stories to those who will listen. The museum building is a hotbed for mysterious occurrences and paranormal phenomena. The hushed echoes of footsteps can be heard throughout the empty halls, sending shivers down the spines of those brave enough to explore. Door slammed shut with an unnerving force, as if controlled by an unseen presence. And from the shadows, whispers and murmurs seem to emanate, their source unknown. Visitors have captured strange anomalies on camera, unexplained orbs of light that dance and flicker in the darkness. In other photographs taken inside, shadowy figures can be seen lurking in the background, their features shrouded in mystery. It's no wonder this place has gained a reputation for being haunted and unsettling to all who dare to enter its doors. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, the Whaley House beckons with its eerie aura and promises to transport you into the depths of San Diego's history. The whispers of ghosts and spirits seem to linger in every nook and cranny, making it a place where the past and present collide in a hauntingly beautiful yet terrifying manner. As you walk through its halls, the boundaries between life and death become blurred, and the stories of those who once roamed these rooms come alive once again, echoing through the corridors and perhaps leaving an indelible mark on your very soul. It is one of those places that continues to captivate and mystify visitors, offering more than just a glimpse into the past, 
but a deep understanding of the enduring power of the paranormal. The Dark Watchers Shadows on the Santa Lucia Slopes Nestled along the rugged coastline of Big Sur, California, where the Santa Lucia Mountains plunge dramatically into the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, a chilling legend has lingered for generations, the tale of the Dark Watchers. These mysterious figures, often depicted as towering, shadowy silhouettes adorned with wide-rimmed hats and billowing cloaks, are believed to haunt the high peaks and rugged ridges of this untamed landscape. Their presence is said to evoke a sense of unease and curiosity in those brave enough or foolish enough to venture into their domain, adding an eerie depth to the already majestic scenery of this coastal paradise. Elusive sightings of the Dark Watchers are shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Hikers and travelers speak of fleeting glimpses of shadowy figures perched against the fiery sun, their shapes melding into the natural landscape. But as soon as they try to draw near, or gain a better look, the figures dissolve into thin air, leaving behind a chilling sense of unease and an inexplicable feeling of being closely observed. The origins of the mysterious Dark Watchers legend are veiled in obscurity, their true nature a subject of endless speculation. Some whisper that they are the spirits of ancient Native American shamans, bound to sacred sites and enigmatic rituals. Others dare suggest that they are interdimensional beings, crossing through invisible barriers to peek into our world. And still others scoff, dismissing them as mere figments of the imagination, illusions conjured by tired minds and fleeting shadows. Whatever the truth is, it remains elusive, shrouded in an aura of eerie uncertainty. In this rich, rugged landscape at Big Sur, Author John Steinbeck found inspiration in the ancient legend of the Dark Watchers. His 1938 short story, Flight, paints a haunting picture of these enigmatic beings, tall men who stand sentry over the world and all its secrets. With piercing, unblinking gazes, they survey the land, their silhouettes stark against the setting sun. For Steinbeck, these figures were more than just a folk tale. They were a symbol of the wild, untamed spirit that permeates California's untamed landscapes. Through his eloquent words and vivid descriptions, he forever cemented the Dark Watchers into the fabric of local lore. Throughout the years, countless hikers and travelers have shared their encounters with the Dark Watchers. Their stories all hold a chilling consistency, painting a picture of eerie experiences. Some speak of a sudden drop in temperature as they approach the areas where the figures are most often seen, sending shivers down their spine. Others describe an overwhelming sense of dread that washes over them, as if they are being watched by unseen eyes. The wind itself carries strange whispers, barely audible, but very unnerving, almost as if these figures are attempting to communicate but cannot fully breach into our world. No matter how hard one tries to shake off the feeling, it lingers like a dark cloud hovering over the mind. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer in the supernatural, the eerie legend of the Dark Watchers adds an undeniable sense of mystery and intrigue to the already breathtaking landscape of Big Sur. As you gaze at the rugged cliffs and rolling waves crashing against them, there's a feeling that something more exists beyond what meets the eye. A presence that lingers just out of sight, wrapped in the cloak of fog and mist. It's a constant reminder that in this remote corner of the world, there are still mysteries waiting to be uncovered and secrets waiting to be revealed. The very air feels thick with tension and anticipation, as if the shadows themselves hold the key to unlocking these hidden truths. Whether these stories are true or simply figments of the imagination, the Legends of the Dark Watchers adds a sense of wonder and possibility to this already supernaturally enchanting landscape. Well, friends, there you have it. What do you think of these dark tales from the state of California? I look forward to your comments, but please be friendly and respectful. Until we meet again, be good to yourselves and each other. Stay safe out there. As for me, 
I'll see you a little further on down the road. I'm Steve Stockton, and I'll talk to you next time. And please, tell your animals I said hi. Hi.